Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we managed to defeat Gaussian, which was fun. We've gone back, we've prepared, and now it's time to go into Sh Shrine Island. And we only have um, three optional bosses left to fight. So, let's get underway, shall we? Be nice to finish this game today. It is a shame that we've got to leave this uh, place. Right. Wow. Back to where it all started, kind of. Let's explore, shall we? So, technically, we don't have to get any chests in this, um, in this shrine. But I guess, you know, they are the last three sh chests in the game, so uh, we might as well. So, descend into Shrine Island, keep going until you reach the large door at the bottom. Okay, there appears to be a Bible of text on how to find the first chest, so that's going to be interesting. Right, the large door at the bottom. Oh, this is quite the spiral downwards. So, there's the large door at the bottom. I'm guessing it wants us to go into the large door at the bottom. Oh, wait. We can't go in there. And that's where we fought, like, the first boss of the game as well. Large door at the bottom. Ah, wait, I'm being stupid. Because of course I am. So, first take a left, then a right up the ramp. Go straight until you're in the inner circle. What? <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. Um, let's just go through this door. Right, I'm assuming we're going down this ramp. Well, this looks ominous. Oh, we got options here. Right, well, let's go left. And then we're going to go take a right turn, apparently. Left, right. Uh, right turn up the ramp. Go straight into... Oh, here we go, combat. And we're fighting some really weird things in here. Delvax. Well, hopefully we can send them down with pirates. Reign of Swords. Yep, Reign of Swords is just a ticket. Ah, nice to have my proper party back. So, until we're in the inner circle, then take a right turn and go straight down the ramp. A right turn and go straight down the ramp. Okay. That's what you say. And that leads us here. Well, we're not going back that way. Then take a left turn once you're in the inner circle. Wait, where's the inner circle? Uh, I really don't necessarily always like following guides to an absolute T. But, I'd rather that than miss anything. Be nice to get to Enrique to level 80. Right, okay, so I guess we're going to go that way. Take a right turn, go straight down the ramp, take a left turn once you're in the outer circle. Yeah, so this has got to be the outer circle. Inner circle, outer circle, got you. Uh... Take a left turn going down another ramp. Okay. Wow, this is complex. It's very complex. Um, going down another ramp. Take a right turn. Right turn, you say? Wow, look at this thing. 
Um, let's hit it up with that. Looks like a creature on its own. Well, it doesn't last long against us, does it? Nice to see Enrique leveling. So, that doesn't look like anything over there. Oof. So we came in there. So go straight until you're in the circle. Blah, blah, blah. Straight down the ramp. Take a left turn once you're in the outer circle. Take a right. Take a left turn again going down another ramp. So down here. Going down another ramp. Can't see another ramp here. Okay. This is confusing. We're just going to keep exploring hopefully find where we need to go now the main reason that we need to do this is because Lord Bane the last bounty is hidden in one of these chests so we do actually need to find him okay what are we looking for here Ah, look at this place. And of course the last of the chams are here too. Which is also very important. Which is something that I'd kind of forgotten about, actually. Right, let's see how much damage everyone does if they just do a round of attacks. Not much, apparently. Reign of Swords probably wasn't optimal, but... It will do. Well, we're certainly powerful. Right, let's go back down here. Because Koopal... Where is it, boy? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so I found it. <laughs> and it wasn't even in the room that I thought it was. Go figure. Okay, cool. Um, let's feed our little friend up that cham. Still the claymore. That's okay. We'll still endeavor to get the uh, best weapon we can from him. Okay, cool. So let's keep exploring. We're still looking for this chest of which I am massively lost with right now. But that's okay. If need be, I will find them off camera. I mean, this place is just a crazy maze. As you kind of imagine it would be, really. Uh, so, we can't go anywhere down there. We can't go anywhere there. Oh, right. So, looks like this whole area up here just leads literally uh, just to get that cham, which is fine. That's okay. We can handle that. Well, luckily our chaps are leveling up, which is pretty cool. Ah! I'm guessing that leads out to the next area. Looks like it. I'm going to put down a save state here, just in case we do get past the point of no return. Okay, so here we go. We're in a very shiny, interesting area here. Oh. And there's the final cham. If I can pick it up. All 30 chams. Now, apparently, some of these enemies are supposed to be really dangerous, but obviously we haven't really found anything that's challenging us. Apparently, those big dragon things, according to the guide that I've got, are very, very dangerous. But we've been murdering them easily. And there we go. Cham. So, from what I can understand, uh, if we get this right... If we go items, cham. 
Oh, he's now final pupil. Is that really his ultimate form? Uh, final pupil attack three hundred. Pupil's final and ultimate form. It looks very impressive and packs quite a punch. Oh, I thought we had to feed Cupel in a specific set way to actually get that. But hey, apparently not. I'm not going to complain, game. <clears throat> not going to complain. Let's see what he looks like now when he attacks. Let's have a look. What does he look like? Over there. Ooh. Hey, he's, he becomes a Kirby. And apparently does an insane amount of damage. Which is really interesting. Happy with that. Okay. So we still haven't found any chests yet. Not sure if we want to go through that. Pretty sure we don't. Not yet, anyway. Can we go back? Oh shit, apparently we can't go back. This is awkward. Uh, Pirate's Wrath. Yeah, okay. So this dungeon is definitely being a little bit more complicated than I thought. Um, so we can jump on that, there's a door here, where does that go? Is that, that's got to be a chest, we received a moonberry, now if I check my notes, a moonberry is actually the first thing we're supposed to get. Which makes me wonder. Uh, go round to the first teleporter and activate it. Once you're on the top left, go round, skipping the next one to find a door. Ah, the, randomly enough, that is actually the first. Okay, exit the room, take the teleporter to the right. Good, we're back on track here, guys. Take the teleporter to the right. We are back on track. Right, Pirate's Wrath. Nope, Reign of Swords. Um, take the teleporter to the next ledge. Head right to another door. And that is where our final boss is. Right, let's jump down here. Jump on this teleporter. And there should be another door here that we can get into. Although, I'm not seeing a door that either we've not seen it or we've got to keep moving. At least we are clearing these guys out nice and quickly. Getting to the point where the enemies are just in the way more than anything else. So where's the door here? There is a door here apparently. But where? It does say head to the right. Use the teleporter. Let's drop a safety save. Because we know we can teleport off, but we can't come back. Exit the room and take the teleporter to the right. Take the teleporter on the right. Okay, it does say take the teleporter on the next ledge. It's just worded incredibly poorly. Oh, look at this. Remember when this guy was a boss? Yeah, Cupel is now doing more damage than 
like our main damage dealers, which is brilliant. His ultimate form. Hey, nice. Right, so take this teleporter. Guys, teleporter. Now my concern is going to be getting out of here. Right, so, another door down here. That doesn't look like a door. That also doesn't look like a door. That is not a door. And that looks like something from Halo. <coughs> what are we fighting? What are we fighting? Is it one enemy? Two enemies? Three enemies? One enemy. Okay. Let's keep grinding. I guess we're just gonna keep going. Ah, there's a door. So here it is. So we are going to heal up, if we actually need to heal up. I guess we can heal up a little bit. There we go. Right, let's go poke our heads in. And this is the final bounty of the game. Lord Bane. Now he has some of those Sylvian Banes with him, but we're not going to worry about them too much. We're going to go for Pirate's Wrath. Straight up. Um, I guess we'll use some Delta Shield action. And fight. And fight. Let's see what happens. Explosive power. Oof, that's a spicy meatball. But that's okay. We should have him. We'll have them in a few hits. Right. Let's go for another Pirate's Wrath. Um, I guess... To be honest... I guess you can Delta Shield. Um, completely heal everybody? Sure, why not? medicine box. Yeah, he's going to start healing himself after this, sadly. But we should definitely still be able to out-damage him. Which, indeed, apparently we are doing. Pirate's Wrath, and he should be done. You know what? Just get everybody to attack. Sure. Oh, Pipes of Doom. Oh, that just brings another dude in. That's fine. Now we just got to wipe out the rest of these guys, which we can do just by attacking as normal. I like the way these guys are doing like no damage at all, but then that's to do with the equipment I think we've got equipped. We could have used an ultimate attack there, but yeah. I guess we don't need to. And there we go, Enrique, level 81. You're on the winning side now, Enrique. And a Magnus Seed. Zilvian Bane. Well, he got away. I guess that's a victory for us. Kind of. He's on the wanted list too, right? Next time we get, let's stop by Sailor's Guild. We've got to get our gold. So, we've received the Orb of Serenity. Now, I, I'm going to drop a safety save here, guys. Because I have no idea how we're supposed to get out of here now. Maybe we get a choice when we go to fight the final boss whether we can just like leave or <laughs> completely restores. Right. There we go. Because I don't want to mix out on those extras. Okay, so we've got one.
Ah, okay. Right, I'm with you. So apparently now we can jump back into this, and this takes us back to the beginning of the warp zone. Right. So I'm guessing now we can exit. Yeah, we can exit here. The only trouble is... Uh, I guess this is our last chance to exit this area and go do all the rest of the bonus stuff. Kind of annoying, like I said, that we have to get halfway through the final dungeon and then you have to know that you've got to go back and exit to do the bonus stuff. It is very, very odd that the game is designed this way. But it is what it is. Right. Because you have to kill that guy. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe at the end of the game there is a way that you can carry on playing, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. Pretty sure once you complete the game, that's all, folks. So let's run our asses out of here as quick as we can. Then up. Man, this place is a maze. The amazing maze. Still, we're definitely powered up enough for everything we need. Cool. Um, think it's up here now? Question mark? Looks like this game is possibly going to be two more um, parts. Which is fine. Now, what way? Ah, we're not going that way. I've got to find my way out of here now. Amongst all of the fighting. Still, every opportunity is a chance to level up. Now, I hate to be so arrogant as to think we're going to bulldoze the next boss we have to fight. Because the next hidden boss we have to fight is not a pushover. In fact, apparently, he's the hardest fight in the game. But we shall see about that. <clears throat> I've got some strategies. Ooh, that's not where we want to go, is it? Or is it? I'm going to get out of here. All that glorious experience. Right, there we go. That's the way out. Nice. Now, it might look like we're running away from the final battle. But that is not the case. At least that's what we're going to be telling ourselves. And we just got to run our asses all the way out. Yeah, so from what I've looked up on the forums, uh, I can't decide on the very old forums. I can't decide whether, or should I say, it's not clear whether you actually, there is a decent jump off point, or if this is the jump off point. I guess we're going to find out. So, back to the ship. How much money do we have? Eh, I've got a bit. Okay, so let's drop a save. Uh, I guess we'll just drop it here. And we're going to call that a video, guys. When we come back, um, we're going to go fight couple of characters. We're going to go to Sailor's Island, hand in our bounty, go fight the Black Looper. The Black Looper is going to be interesting. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.